What is a capacitor? Well, this is a capacitor. But what inside of this? Inside of this, it contains basically two pieces of conducting material like metal separated from each other with a piece of paper. The paper is used so that the metal don't touch. What it is useful for? Capacitor is useful to store charge. Once the battery connect, the negative charge get attracted to the positive terminal of the battery on the right side. And on the left side, the negative charges get repelled from the negative terminal of the battery. As the negative charge leave the metal on the right, it causes the piece of metal to be positively charged because the piece of metal has less negative and the piece of metal on the left become negatively charged metal. It is noted that the both piece of metal has same magnitude of charge. Even if the two metal are of different sizes and shape, they still have to store equal and opposite amount of charge. The process of charge switching happens forever though negative charge is on the right side attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery will also to be attracted to the positive terminal of the metal. Eventually, the negative charges will get attracted towards the positive piece of metal just as much as they are attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery. Once this happens, the process stops and the accumulated charge just sits there on the piece of metal. The negative wants to go towards the positive as the opposite attracts but there is no path for them to get there. But not all the capacitor will store the same amount of charge. One capacitor hooked up in a battery might store a lot of charge. But another capacitor hooked up to same battery might store a little amount of charge. So the capacitance of a capacitor tells how good the capacitor in storing charge. A capacitor with large capacitance store a lot of charge and a small capacitance store a small amount of charge. So the capacitance is equal to the charge stored in a capacitor divided by the voltage across the capacitor. So the electric potential is high near the positive charges and low near the negative. Let a battery charge up a capacitor. Then the voltage across the capacitor will be same as the voltage of the battery. Looking at the formula C equal to Q by V. Q stands for coulombs and V for volt. So coulombs per volt we call that a farad. You might think more charge stored in a capacitor the capacitance must increase but the capacitance stays same because the charge increases the voltage across the capacitor increases which causes the ratio to stay the same.
The only way to change the capacitance of a capacitor is to alter the physical characteristics like making the piece of metal weaker, placing them farther apart. Just changing the ratio is not going to change that represents the capacitance.